This now, the bodies of at least 31 illegal miners remain trapped underground in an unused mining shaft in Virginia in the Free State. They are believed to be Basotho nationals who were killed during a methane explosion just last month. Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mandashe says more miners may still be alive below ground as some movement has been detected. Our senior reporter Avi Wimtela is still tracking the story for us and joins me now uh, for an update. And Avi, uh, earlier on when you spoke to uh, one of the family members, they had mentioned that the number is actually 27 because previously some had been retrieved from underground. This right before they say security stopped them and took the equipment they were using to retrieve the bodies. That's the case, Domelo. In fact, I have the list here on my hand of the 27, uh, we understand, illegal miners that are still trapped underneath there. The confirmation from the people that actually went inside is that all these 27 people have passed away. In fact, they've managed to take uh, out to surface three of them. Uh, which also passed away, and we do understand there were two survivors. One was taken um, out for, uh, five days after the actual explosion. That's on the 17th of May is when the explosion happened. And then another one uh, was taken out after 14 days. And the people that were actually taking them out are with me, suggesting that uh, that person had no water or food for those 14 days, but he's still alive. We do understand now he is back home in Lesotho as we understand the majority of uh, these names. are. In fact, 31 of them are Lesotho nationals, we are told uh, by the family members, and one of them uh, is South African, while the, the parents originate from Lesotho. In fact, let's get a word now with one of the persons that was on that uh, rescue mission conducted by the families themselves uh, and I understand coming in 14 days later. Let me bring in Umdomkulu. Umdomkulu, thank you for joining us. Uh, you'd understand the difficulty we're having with the language, so I'm also going to ask Sis Lindy eh, to be on my side here yeah, to help with this translation. Umdomkulu, um, thank you for joining us at ENCA. What were you met with? After 14 days, from <laughs> Uh, it's a mighty hand, Abanye ba 27 ba se ba solo kile abai 2 ba sa phile ba amkile ba se khayeni ngathi ngaphakathi be kukho i shop apho kungena apho baphumana khona kwabana lapho bafuna ukuphumana khona kho indawo apho ba yazile ukuthi ba ngaphume ukuthi baphume emgodini so just his explanation of what happened uh, upon arriving there, being met with all these dead bodies underground, and there are suspicions, in fact, in speaking to them a bit earlier on, uh, Dumelo, that there is some sort of what they suspect is a drone that actually conducted this explosion. Remember, the official word that we have from government at this stage is that there was a methane explosion. They suspect that this was deliberate. In fact, in chatting to them a bit earlier on, they suggest that there are videos that they took 20 minutes before the actual explosion, which, uh, well, they have, and they saw a lot of security around there, and then some 20 or so minutes later is then when the actual explosion happened. Um, when you figure after 14 days, right? <laughs> After 
Utata uti baye bakwazi kungena bapu ba funu kipa aba bantu bayi 2 ababa i 3 ama police a 13 tambo ba ngafuna ukuthi bangena ngaphakathi ukuthi bakhipha laba bantu babuza ama police uti na xa ningafuna ukuthi singene apho sikhipha laba bantu abaphila yo nithi ningaba laba bantu nithi abafile yo nithi ningalaba baphila yo kulapho ke bangathula ngempendulo kho so it's security personnel and the police, we understand, Tumelo, that stopped the Lesotho nationals from the rescue mission that they were conducting. They managed to take away three. Uh, of course, they had already been deceased. There were two that were alive. This happening, of course, the explosion itself, we were told on the 17th of May. That is just last month. And the gentleman came in even 14 days later. One of them was still alive, and they managed to take him out. But they were stopped on their tracks from continuing with the rescue mission. As you do understand now, the official word that we heard from government, uh, Mineral Resources Minister Kwete Mandashe, suggesting that there is high methane content uh, underneath. So it's difficult and near impossible uh, to take out the bodies there. But they believe that uh, it's possible. They've been doing it. They were stopped on their tracks. The ropes that they had was actually even taken away while some of them were still uh, underneath. Mdomkulo, kukuya pambili. Ine ni ni funa ya going forward. Oya pili, hutu na kinge li batlangi ye peta hali. Ishi lana ke butati mbafu mana jitupuzi. Liba abu family sa wana baka mo. Badi batla go bako di seya go bana babona abasape. So it's the, the, they just want the bodies essentially that are still uh, underneath there. We understand 27 according to the list that they have that they saw and uh, counted themselves. They were uh, busy with that rescue mission themselves before they were stopped by security and understand the police. We do understand that we are told by government to take out the remaining bodies there. As people that were there, Okay, so they're saying that it's quite possible uh, from their side. Uh, to take out those bodies. I'm not sure if one of the other gentlemen, family members, in fact, that wants to, to come in. Uh, let me get a quick sentiment as well. I understand you come from Lesotho as well. Um, after, of course, this uh, tragedy happened, you were at the mine yourself, I understand. According to what you saw there, is it possible or would you keep a band of her? <laughs> Okay, so it's two days, he says, and they'd be done with that. So it's possible that they can take out the remaining bodies that are underneath the surface now, I understand 27 of them, but all they want is permission. And it seems that permission won't be coming. As we heard yesterday from Mineral Resources Minister, Kwete Mantashe, that they are in fact in communication with the Lesotho government, the Minister of Mineral Resources, that side, and the minister in Lesotho did actually suggest that uh, the illegal miners themselves be the ones that actually go in back into that uh, mine. But the minister of the side, Goethe is suggesting that they wouldn't allow criminality. You know, they don't want to be part of criminality. So that doesn't seem like an option. At this stage, they're trying to figure out how to work around the high uh, levels of methane as these families, of course, are still uh, waiting here. A lot of the families that have come all the way from Lesotho uh, waiting for the lists that's yeah, that's the uh, relatives of them uh, that are still trapped underneath that mine.
Niza utini mdo mkulu, niza utala pa kute utini. How long are you going to be here? Hai, hafela kaka katula tuiso hangu hafela jama hama uwe. Kamuka uwe batu hafela. Kata kutela hai, anita wana na kwe kare nge tui dulia wa. Kaya atla muna na kwe kare nge tui dulia. Nika batu hafela uwe kwe kono nsa batu wano. Bana wano wabu kona kwa isi hae bila kona kwe jama hai. Bati bona kabanga tola ka ichanzo kuti ba tola into amatambo abo baza ubuele ka into ba sali sile yoka apa kuti ba tola amatambo wabo utato mnye yano utusala. Okay, so all they want now is the bodies of the 27. Uh, miners, well, illegal miners that are still trapped underneath that shaft by Virginia mine, and they're saying that they wait indefinitely, and it looks like it's going to be a long wait. Even the conversation I had with Harmony Gold yesterday, suggesting that it's a near impossible task. One, that mine itself has no infrastructure, given that it was never mined in the first place since uh, Harmony Gold acquired it acquired the mine back in 19, uh, well, in the 1980s. They haven't used it because they understand that there's high methane content there uh, and the mine has been rehabilitated. Um, we do understand the confirmation that we also got from Mineral Resources Minister Gwete Mantasha. The second challenge, of course, is the methane uh, levels in the mine itself. So it's proving difficult and the authorities are saying that they're engaging on a regular basis to try and find a way uh, then to take out the bodies that remain underneath the mine. At this stage, we do understand understand from the confirmation we have uh, from the families of those uh, uh, Zama Zamas is that it's 27 people that are still underneath there that they saw themselves. They have a list, uh, of course, of the names that they took down there. And it's three bodies that they recovered uh, to the surface that are uh, currently dead. And of course, the two survivors uh, of that that are all the way back in Lesotho now. And colleagues, I mean, as you continue to hear from the families, the concerns they raise and the plea they're making to have the bodies of their loved ones retrieved, even though this is a separate matter, but one can help but remember the families of those still trapped uh, at the lily mine at this stage. And, you know, it's years now. And when we talk about timelines in terms of when this family and many other families of those 27 will get uh, the bodies of their loved ones, uh, one then wonders if it will not take too long of time because at this stage they want to bury their loved ones and return with them back home. So it is quite a difficult one, you know, for one to fathom given that there's still an issue when it comes to the lily mine and those are three bodies still trapped there. But we leave it at that for now. Senior reporter Avi Wimdila tracking down, of course, those developments out of Virginia. Uh, 27 mine workers at this stage, according to family members, saying there are 27 uh, trapped underneath or their bodies at least at the stage because they are pursued to be dead. Harmony Gold and Minister Gwede Mandashe alongside uh, the Basotho government trying to find interventions and ways to retrieve the bodies and return them back home.